So now our next step is to get this solution that we got geometrically in geogebra, algebraically. So how do we do that? Remember that we found that the photo is 54 square inches when S equals 1.5. We need the width in the end to be 9 inches and H to be 6 inches. So what is the width of the picture? This is W here. What is W? W is 12, the mat, minus one S on this side and another S on that side. So minus S minus S is 12 minus, and we have two s's, right? So that's the width. What's the height? The height is this distance here. It again starts with 12, but now we subtract off two s here, and two s here, so we get 12 minus four s. We're writing this way now because we're not using a program. So what is this area here? It's H times W. So the area is W times H with the time the height. So it's 12 minus 2S in parentheses times 12 minus 4S. And now we can FOIL that out. A equals 12 times 12 is 144, and then 12 times minus 4s, minus 4 times 12 is minus 48 times s. Then the inner ones is minus 2s times 12, minus 2 times 12 is minus 24, and then the s. And then the last ones are minus 2s times minus 4s, so minus 2 times minus 4 is plus 8, and s times s is s squared. So we have a equals 144, and then if we want to subtract these using a calculator, we would subtract minus 48 minus 24, which would be minus 72s, and then the last one is 8s squared. So this is the function that explains the area of the inside photograph for variable s. Now, we needed a to have b 54. So that means we have 54 equals 144 minus 72 s plus 8 s squared is our equation. This is our function. A depends upon s here. This is our equation that we're going to solve. First thing I always do is turn it right side up. So I would put 8s squared minus 72s plus 144 equals 54. All I did was turn the equation around. Now I subtract 54 from both sides, so I get 0 because that's what I need to be able to solve it. I need to have 0 on this side. So I have 8 s squared, that doesn't change, 72 s doesn't change. I can get a calculator out and find out that that is 90 equals 0. So this is my quadratic equation that I need to solve and get that answer. s equals 1.5. Okay, so let's solve that quadratic equation. So we need to solve this quadratic equation. We're going to use the quadratic formula, so we need to find the coefficients. A equals 8. B is how much? Minus 72. C is how much? 90. And we know that the variable is S, so we have S1 and S2 is equal to minus B, so that's minus minus 72, so that's plus 72 plus minus the square root, the discriminant is coming up now, minus 72 squared, minus 4 times A, which is 8, times C, which is 90, divided by 2 times A, which is 8. Okay, everybody get that written down. And then we'll get our calculators out here. So equals 
72 plus minus the square root of, let's find out what, what is 72, and we change it to negative with a plus minus, and then we square it, 5184 minus, there's no minuses in here, so that's still a minus, 4 times 8 times 90. Oh good, it's less than 5184, 2880. If it was greater, we'd have a problem because there would be no solution, and we have a solution. So, divided by 2 times 8, we're going to multiply that ourselves, 16. And so we have equals 72 and a 16 down on here on the bottom, plus, minus. Okay, get everywhere. Everybody get caught up, and we'll find that square root. So, 5184 minus 2880 equals, and then we find the square root, 48. Nice, pretty square root, 48. So, that's the end of that sentence. We have S1, we use the plus sign, so 72 plus 48 over 16. Get our handy dandy calculator out, write that down first. 72 plus 48 over 16. So we have 72 plus 48 equals, divided by 16 equals. 7.5. Ooh, that's not our answer. But, on the other hand, it's also not between 0 and 3. So this is not a valid thing. This is not valid, period, because it's not between 0 and 3. If S was 7.5, we would be cutting out 7.5 times 2 is 15 inches. We only have 12 inches. So this is not valid. We're going to hope that S2 is 1.5. S2, and of course it will be, because we've done everything right, 72 minus 48 over 16. Get our calculator. 72 minus 48 equals, divided by 16 equals 1.5. Yay! And this is our answer to what value of S satisfies the problem. It's not the answer to the question, though, because the question asks, what are the dimensions of the photograph? So let's get ourselves a little bit more space here. We've got our S equals 1.5. And let's shrink this down. OK, so we need to substitute 1.5 into these two equations to get W and H. So W equals 12 minus 2S. S is 1.5. So 1.5. Let's draw this arrow down here so you know where we're getting it from. Is 12. 2 times 1.5 is 3. Equals 9. Hooray. Right? So W equals 9 inches. And then h equals 12 minus 4 times s. s is 1.5. 4 times 1.5 is 6. 12 minus 6 equal to 6. Hooray! So h equals 6 inches. So our answer is the photo is... 9 inches by 6 inches.